Hey, how's everyone doing today? I'm coming to you today to talk about something pretty serious. I know yesterday uh, I did a, a lighter video. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something real serious that's involving a lot of truckers. Um, Work-related suicides. Truckers rank number five for uh, suicides related to work-related reasons. Uh, so truckers spend a lot of time alone. You know, we, we don't come in contact with a lot of people. Uh, isolation from society. Um, really disconnected with uh, with society as a whole. You know, uh, kind of in our own world out there. Um, I think that's why when, like, we've been on the road for a while, walking to Walmart feels awkward. Coming home, getting around people feels awkward. You know, so. And, and, and it's because we spend so much time alone. Um, it also messes with our social skills and our ability to uh, cope and deal with things that people in a normal work environment, where they're around people all the time, deal with. Um, well, first I want to talk about some of the signs of suicide. If you recognize these things in yourself or someone else, ask them to get help, get help for yourself, reach out for somebody. I don't care if you message me, it doesn't matter. Uh, hit somebody up, you know, you might need to go home for a few days, get out of the truck, do something. Um, one clear sign is irritability, snapping, becoming upset in situations that aren't that big a deal, um, no reason to be upset. We've all ran into that driver, it's in the driver's lounge, griping about something that really doesn't mean anything, doesn't change the price of rice in China for nobody. But <clears throat> that may be a sign of depression. That is a, that's one of the key ways that people with depression react. Little things become big things. Um, inability to sleep or sleeping too much. It's another sign of depression. Um, weird or vivid dreams can be one of the signs of depression. Um, I mean, uh, thoughts of suicide, thoughts of feeling worthless. Uh, one key sign of depression, it's also a key sign for many things, but it's a sign for depression. A lack of intelligence as well, or insecurity in oneself. When people are insecure with themselves, which is a branch of depression, they tend to want to put others down. Uh, they, see, they see a flaw in someone else or something, and they'll want to put them down. And it lifts them up. You know, list them up to make others feel bad. You know, um, you see this in trucking groups. I mean, almost constantly, constantly. And every time I see it, you know, I feel bad for the person that's talking crap on another person, or, uh, talking bad about another individual because they, they're probably suffering themselves and that's why they're doing that. You know, and most of the time, I don't even respond to them. When they say something bad on one of my vi videos, normally I just ignore it. I might read just long enough to see it's something bad. As soon as I do, I click off of it and go on. I don't even read the whole thing. Um, because I know that that person has their own issues and their own things they're battling within themselves. And that's why they're responding that way. You know, so don't ever, you know, don't ever respond to respond to that because you don't know who the other individual is and how uh, how their mental state is in life I'm um, gonna tell a little quick story I was working working for Creek Carriers at one time and in New Kingston they have a terminal we're right across the street from where the terminal is now is their old terminal when they had the old terminal it's all cleared out and flat now there ain't nothing there I think there's a couple buildings there it's about it but uh, one night, and I wasn't there for it, but uh, one night, a driver shot himself in his truck right there in that terminal. And it's nothing to say bad about Creek because it happens everywhere. It's happened at Stevens Transport. Um, it's happened at mom and pop places. It's happened at truck stops. 
I was at the Triple T truck stop out in Arizona one time when that happened. So it's nothing to say about the company. It's the environment. It's the industry as a whole. Um, shippers and receivers most of the time treat us pretty poorly. Uh, we're, we're talked to and treated like, you know, trash. And, and granted, in some cases, it's kind of, it's warranted. You know, uh, truck drivers are not the easiest people to deal with. Uh, there's a lot of truck drivers that are not very intelligent. Um, a lot of truck drivers that are pretty nasty. And it's kind of like the parking in Walmarts. You know, I, I hate when a Walmart blocks us. But at the same time, I understand it. Because I don't know how many times I pulled into a Walmart and you'll see piss bottles laying in a parking lot. And different things like that. By the way, that can also be a sign of depression. Because that person doesn't care. They're just throwing a piss bottle out the window. Their truck's probably full of them. They've probably got poop bags and everything else in their truck. Um, when I see a truck, especially online, they blast it and it's all dirty and messed up inside. That too is a sign of depression. When people get real massively depressed, they just quit taking care of themselves. They don't take a shower anymore. Um, they don't. They don't do a lot of things that they used to do. They don't take. They don't clean their truck anymore. You know. So, as drivers, we're in our own world. We have to stick together. We uplift each other. Try to be honest with each other. And if you see somebody going through this. You know, even if you can't talk them into getting help, at least try to be their friend. I think these companies should have more programs to reach out to us, but they don't. Um, exercise facilities would be, like, number one thing to fix it because exercise releases chemicals in the brain that, that help battle, you know, anxiety and depression. And uh, I think that would help a lot in our industry if those types of things were made more available to us and truck stops and different things like that. But they're not, you know, at the moment, we, we don't have a whole lot of options. I want to tell all y'all I love y'all, you know, uh, new year. Let's try to make this year a better year than last year. Stay safe. Try not to get sick. And take care of yourselves, driver.